the Emirate of Njd was the second Saudi state, existing between 1824 and 1891 in Njd, the regions of Riyadh and Hay of what is now Saudi Arabia. Saudi rule was restored to Central and Eastern Arabia after the Emirate of Daraya, the first Saudi state. Having previously been brought down by the Ottoman Empire's Egypt Ayelet in the Ottoman Warabi War, the Second Saudi period was marked by less territorial expansion and less religious zeal. Although the Saudi leaders continued to be called Imam and still employed Wahhabist religious scholars, severe internal conflicts within the House of Saud eventually lead to the dynasty's downfall at the Battle of Malay Day in 1891. Between the forces loyal to the last Saudi Imam, Abdul Rahman ibn Faisal ibn Turka, and the Rashidi dynasty of Hayy. History The first Saudi to attempt to regain power after the fall of the Emirate of Daraiya in 1818 was Mishari ibn Saad, a brother of the last ruler in Daraiya, Abdullah bin Saad, but he was soon captured by the Egyptians and killed. In 1824, Turka bin Abdullah bin Muhammad, a grandson of the first Saudi Imam Muhammad bin Saad who had managed to evade capture by the Egyptians, was able to expel Egyptian forces and their local allies from Riyadh and its environs and is generally regarded as the founder of the Second Saudi dynasty as well as being the ancestor of the kings of modern-day Saudi Arabia. He made his capital in Riyadh and was able to enlist the services of many relatives who had escaped captivity in Egypt, including his son Faisal ibn Turka al Saud. Turka was assassinated in 1834 by Mishari ibn Abdul Rahman, a distant cousin. Mishari was soon besieged in Riyadh and later executed by Faisal, who went on to become the most prominent ruler of the Saudis' second reign. Faisal, however, faced a reinvasion of Najd by the Egyptians four years later. The local population was unwilling to resist, and Faisal was defeated and taken to Egypt as a prisoner for the second time in 1838. The Egyptians installed Khalid ibn Sa'd, last surviving brother of Muhammad bin Sa'd, had spent many years in the Egyptian court as ruler in Riyadh and supported him with Egyptian troops. In 1840, however, external conflicts forced the Egyptians to withdraw all their presence in the Arabian Peninsula, leaving Khalid with little support. Seen by most locals as nothing more than an Egyptian governor, Khalid was toppled soon afterwards by Abdullah ibn Thunian, of the collateral al Thunian branch. Faisal, however, had been released that year and, aided by the al-Rashid rulers of Hayy, was able to retake Riyadh and resume his rule, later appointing his son Abdullah ibn Thunayan ibn Ibrahim ibn Thunayan ibn Saad as crown prince, and divided his dominions between his three sons Abdullah, Saad ibn Faisal ibn Turka, and Muhammad. Upon Faisal's death in 1865, Abdullah assumed rule in Riyadh but was soon challenged by his brother, Saad. The two brothers fought a long civil war, in which they traded rule in Riyadh several times. A vassal of the Saudis, Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Rashid of Hale took the opportunity to intervene in the conflict and increase his own power. Gradually, Ibn Rashid extended his authority over most of Najd, including the Saudi capital, Riyadh. Ibn Rashid finally expelled the last Saudi leader, Abdul Rahman bin Faisal, from Najd after the Battle of Malay Day in 1891. Rulers Imam Turka bin Abdullah bin Muhammad 1819-1820 Imam Turka ibn Abdullah ibn Muhammad 1824-1834 Imam Mushari ibn Abdal Rahman ibn Mushari 1834-1834 Imam Faisal bin Turka bin Abdullah al Saad 1834-1838 Imam Khalid ibn Saad ibn Abdalaziz 1838-1841 Imam Abdullah ibn Thunayan ibn Ibrahim ibn Thunayan ibn Saad 1841-1843 Imam Faisal bin Turka bin Abdullah al-Saad 1843-1865
Imam Abdullah ibn Faisal ibn Turka 1865-1871, Imam Saad ibn Faisal 1871-1871, Imam Abdullah ibn Faisal ibn Turka 1871-1873, Imam Saad ibn Faisal 1873-1875, Imam Abdul Rahman bin Faisal 1875-1876, Imam Abdullah ibn Faisal ibn Turka 1876-1889, Imam Abdul Rahman bin Faisal 1889-1891.